Hi guys, good evening. Hi Sadie. Hello. How are you? Good. good and you? Fine. Yeah. Fine. Doing some physics homework. <laughs> okay. What are you doing? I'm trying to find the uh, error absoluto, error relativo. Like, oh, like in English? No, in, in math. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I was like, oh, maybe the translation. Okay. Ah, you're doing homework with your kids? Yep. With the For your one. homework. Oh, okay. What grades are your kids in? The older one is 10th and the younger one is 7th. Nice, okay. And you're doing this with the oldest, not with the youngest. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Trying to remember when, when, when I was in 10th. <laughs> okay. Do you happen to know, by the way, now that we're talking about numbers, do you happen to know somebody that's really good in Excel? I'm looking for an Excel teacher, um, a student, a, you know, a personal student asked if I knew somebody who, 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 um, who could teach her Excel. So if you happen to know someone, let me know. Okay, okay. I, I already have a, a, a full video for, for, for that, for learning Excel. Excel, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, if you can share that, it's going to be a very good start. Um, or is it a complete guide? Like, it's a complete, like you, like a complete tutorial from like Excel for dummies, kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But uh, the only exception is that it doesn't say for dummies. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, because those like the all those for dummies books are very good. Like those are like very resourceful. They have a lot of material that actually helps you, you know, understand the various topics. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I have it in the. Uh, I'm now connect with the with the laptop. Uh, I have it in my desk. Ah, okay. In my, in my computer desk, so I, I I'm gonna share after the after the class. Okay, perfect. That's that's great. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Fatima, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hi, Fatima. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thanks. How was your day? Mm. Was it busy? Yeah, we are working. Bueno, we are doing home office. Ah, okay. And, and the the afternoon um, was full of callings to meetings, mm -hmm. to take decisions. Uh, uh, I'm busy, busy. Okay, nice, nice. Um, guys, so today's supposed to be our last session. Nonetheless, I was thinking on having another one tomorrow just to replace that one that I, for some reason, Zoom did not record. In case you guys want to connect tomorrow, I'll send the message later on in case you guys uh, want to I, go I for an extra, an extra I, session I, tomorrow. I, I want to ask you if that session could be earlier. Not yeah, we. Uh, yeah, I was thinking we can we can come up with another time, like a very. I mean, what I need is for it to be recorded. That way, I can upload it to YouTube. It could be any other time. You can tell me like what's a good time for you guys. I can, I can go with that. Maybe one hour earlier. Okay. Eight. It's okay oh, from eight to nine. Okay. What about you, Sadie? Does it work for you? Eight to nine tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I have to work. Oh. Mm. Okay. Eduardo. But, but it, 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 it's the same. I don't know if, if I will be able to to connect tomorrow. 
if okay. I do, I, 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 I'll do it. Just uh, let me know the, 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 the time, time that you are going to, to connect and, I, and I'll mm -hmm. try to do it. I, I don't, I can't assure that, I can be 100% sure that okay. I'm going no. to be in the class. Okay, I'll try. no worries. I'll, I'll just, if you can, that's great. Um, what I want is to record it for Instafort for them to know that actually that class does exist, right? Hi, Eduardo. Good Hi. evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, thanks. We were talking about um, replacing that class that for some reason Zoom did not record on Tuesday, I think it was. Is there any way that you guys can take it tomorrow at 8 to have it earlier instead of 9 because it's Friday movie yeah. night with the family, who's at night with yeah. the family, so I don't want, you know. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe, for me, it works anytime during the day. Um, but if it works for you at 8 p.m. tomorrow, that would be great. That way we can record it and I can upload it to YouTube. That way we can have our 16 videos complete. Does it work for you? I can do I can do it. Okay, great. Eduardo, okay. does it work for, for you? Me, okay. For me, it's okay. Yes. Great. Ricardo, what about you? Yes, okay. I Fantastic. Agree. Okay, great. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time. I'm sorry, at 8 p.m., okay? Yeah. Okay. So, guys, today, well, yesterday we did a little bit of pronunciation with, uh, um, remember, with the, with the T and the Ds and the throng of thermometers from the Thuringian Thermometer folks around right on Thursday, right? That's mm -hmm. A lot of exercises yesterday. Um, today we have a different topic, and today has to do with you. So, are, are you guys working on a laptop, or are you working with your cell phone right now? Because you're going to need Excel for this. But a basic Excel chart, okay? In a laptop. Laptop, great. So what you're going to do is yeah. this, because you're going to be sending me at the end of the session this. I'm going to share with you what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to give you a couple of um, adjectives. We're going to be going through uh, traits, personality traits, and the way you guys are. So you're going to tell me, you're going to make like your own list of the ones that we're going to be looking at throughout the session, and you're gonna tell me if you are 100% that adjective, if you're somehow like a 50%, if you're like in your 30%, and or if you're not, for example, I'm not an angry, I usually don't get angry very easily, so I'm not an angry person, for example. I'm very patient, so that would go with me in the 0%, but I, I consider myself super adorable and super sweet, so I would say I'm 100% adorable and 100%, you know, throwing flowers to myself, right? Adorable <laughs> and sweet. Um, okay. So you're gonna do it, the idea and what I want, I don't want you to pick the adjectives that I'm gonna show you, the ones that you know. Go with the ones that you commonly wouldn't use to describe yourself. The idea is to learn more vocabulary. So I want you to make like a little chart like this because at the end of the, the session, you're gonna send me like just a screenshot of what you are, if, what you consider yourself to see how many adjectives you learned and the ones that you got your interest and said, you know what, I amused. Okay, I consider myself an amused person and I usually don't use that word. That's not in part of my vocabulary. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, com combative. No, I don't like to argue with people, so I'm not combative and so on, okay? So we're gonna start with the video and then I'm gonna show you another list. We're gonna do two lists one on a video session and the other one on a list that I will show you. That at the end of the class, I'm gonna be sharing with you, which has this English version and the Spanish version for each one. We're gonna go fixing it because some of them for me, um, I got this from a resource on internet and some of them really don't go along. They were like just Google translators. So um, I'm just gonna go with the ones I really know. So let's get started. Ready with your spreadsheet? Okay. Here, da, da, da. okay. So let's start. It's 100 adjectives. So you're gonna see a couple of lists. You're gonna see five little men or women there, and you're gonna see the adjective below. So you're gonna tell me which one you're the most and which one you're not the most. Okay, which one you don't go along with. Okay, so let's get. So I'm gonna mute the music. So let's get started. So do you consider yourself anxious, naughty? Stubborn <laughs> or impatient. Okay, so make a list. 
for example, I consider I'm sort of stubborn because I like to insist sometimes. Whenever I know it, I'm right, I'm right, I like to insist. I'm impatient sometimes, yeah, I would say. Not all the time, but I'm impatient. impatient. Naughty, no, I don't like to play jokes because naughty can be positive and can be negative, okay? So if we were to translate naughty, it's like that, but it could be, a, I'm sorry, it could be in a good way or in another way, like in a positive way or in a negative way. So no, anxious, yes, I'm very anxious. I'm super anxious. Okay. In my don't case. Me, don't tell me right now. We're, um, I'm gonna, don't tell me, don't tell me your list okay. in right now. We're, when I finish the video, we're gonna share, okay? Then the next one. I'm gonna do like three lines and then we're gonna share. Um, do you consider yourself sensitive? Um, are you by any chance intelligent? Super intelligent, of course you are. What about nice? Are you usually nice? Or are you usually nervous? Oh my God, it's gonna tremble. Sensitive, intelligent, nice, and nervous. Hmm. Let's go with the next slide. Are you an emotional person? What's the difference between emotional and sensitive? Hmm. That's a very good question. Um, emotional, that you can feel others, other persons, uh, you, can, you can relate to people's feelings and... and, and um, like an empathy. Like em being empathetic. But sensitive, it can be like, because sensitive is not only, it doesn't really have to do only with, with emotions, it also has to do with attitude. Like some people play jokes on you and you just don't, cannot handle them then you're always so sensitive. So you can easily get angry, not necessarily down, depressive, or in, in an emotional stage. It's more like you can get angry because of that. You can uh, have, mm, okay. you can react, you can overreact because of being sensitive. So sensitive is like, oh, you're so sensitive. Wow, you know, it was, you're not open to feedback, for example. So mm -hmm. sometimes, and in, in, in that's, it, that's the difference between emotional and sensitive. Um, bad tempered, mecha corta, like we say in Spanish. Um, mean, are you mean with people? And distracted, I'm distracted, super distracted. <laughs> Still have to go on and listen to mine. <laughs> okay, and the last line, let's go with the last one. And then we're going to share what we have. Do you consider yourself dishonest? Rude. Discreet, like you're able to keep secrets and just better you got it. Or crazy. Sometimes we're crazy. Or untidy. Untidy is like, for example, you don't iron. It has to do with your personality, like. You just don't shower every day and you just don't iron your clothes every day and perhaps a little bit, you know, that's untidy. Not to be clean, completely clean all day. Sometimes. Okay. Okay, ready? Let's share this first round. What do you guys have? Let's go. Sadie, you can start sharing yours if you want. Okay, in the first line, I... 99.97% stubborn. You are 95% stubborn, okay. Yep, I like to argue when, when I know that I have the right, the, the, re, the right reason, the reason. That I am right um, and that I have the reason, uh -huh, that I am right and I, I have the right. reason. Uh -huh. I have, mm -hmm. Okay. That's me, that's me, stubborn. Anybody else from this line?
what do you consider yourself? Mm -hmm. For those of you who just joined, remember that you have to make your list of the adjectives that go with your personality because you're going to be sending me your screenshot at the end of the of the session. Something oh, like, thanks. okay. Something Can you repeat, please? Good evening. I, I have problems and I to join and I already sure. joined, so I don't know what do I have to do. Yes, I I'm giving you. We're going through a list of adjectives. Mm -hmm. First on a video, and then I'm going to give you a list. So you have to make like your little Excel and tell me like. If you're a hundred percent this, if you're somehow this, if you're like not really this, or if you're not at all this. So mm -hmm. you're gonna see a list of adjectives or you can say, I'm super, I'm 99% stubborn, for example, like okay. Sadie was saying, or I am 50% calm, I'm, you know, 50 and 50. Um, I am, I'm not angry at all. So depending on the line of adjectives that you see, you're gonna pick the ones that go with you but what I want is for you to go with the new words, not the words that you know or that you would use to describe yourself on a common description, but the ones that you just don't use that often, new words for your vocabulary. Okay. So you make your okay. list, you're, gonna, you're going to take a screenshot and just send it to me on the group, okay, at the end of the session. Okay, okay so we're going with this one and we're saying, what, how, what do you consider yourself? Sadie said he considers himself 99% stubborn. Anybody else? Maybe impatient, naughty, or anxious? I'm anxious. Anxious? If yes, you were to I'm put it in a percent, what percent? I'm like 80% of the time anxious or I'm anxious all the time. Or... Mm, 70%. There are some situations that that make me feel anxious. Anxious, anxious. The I becomes anxious. 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 Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Anybody else who considers him or herself impatient? For example, I consider myself very impatient. Yeah, me too. I'm impa I think that impatient and anxious go by the hand. I don't know. They go, it, they, they go hand by they, hand. Mm -hmm. Hand by hand because I, I got the two, I think, 100% uh, na naughty. What do you say? Naughty. Naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Just naughty. Ah, naughty. I naughty think can be travieso in a good way or in a bad way. So the first one is anxious. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> No, I think it's zero in that one. And I'm going to write the pronunciation. The first one is anxious. The second one is naughty, like this. Naughty. Naughty. Stubborn. Stubborn. And impatient. This impay. And I'm sorry. Impatient. Something like this. Impatient. Mm hmm and a stopper? Stubborn? What does it mean? Burro necio terco. Oh. We Maybe. all are, I think. We're like in our culture, we're all like a little uh, bit of stubborn. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the 30%. Okay, 30%. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the second line. We were talking about this one. So, do you consider yourself sensitive, intelligent, nice, or nervous? Sensitive in the way that we define it, maybe 50%, me. Mm -hmm. I think that I'm intelligent. Okay. In a 100%, but I, I'll... I am not so smart because there is a difference, no? Exactly. Between and smart and can be 50%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 50. Mm -hmm. And nice, maybe a 50. And nervous, okay. 100%. <laughs> okay, good. Now, talking about that, uh, what you just said about smart, yes, you could be 50 50. It's a 50 50 positive and negative. Because you can be smart in a good way, but smart like 
um, to harm others. Huh, that was smart, you know, whenever ah, you want to yeah. trick people. So it, there's a difference, like the imperfection is it can be a good thing, but it can also be a negative if you surpass it, if you want to be way too perfectionist. So it could be 50-50 the same way with smart. <clears throat> okay, so it's different. Mm -hmm. You can be smart in a good way or smart, like trying to play tricks on other people or trying to um, take advantage of others or just not in a good way. So it could be positive or negative. Mm -hmm. What about the next line? We have emotional, bad-tempered, mean, and distracted. What do you guys consider yourself? Maybe I'm 80% distracted. <laughs> okay. And 60% emotional. And mean and bad tempered. Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Remember that bad temper has to do like with being mecha corta, so you get, you easily get upset. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mm, mean is mean. bad temper. Uh -huh, like having a bad temper that easily you can get upset. Mm -hmm. That's a tricky line for me. <laughs> Why so? Tell us. That's a tricky line for me because I. I'm not bad tempered. I, I have a lot of mecha, <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, I'm not really mean, and I'm not really emotional. So, yeah, that's why I almost put the other. I I am distracted. I'm uh, seventy-five percent distracted. So it means that the other three adjectives could be in the zero percent, I guess. Okay. 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 Let's go with the next line. Okay. So what about this one? Are you consider yourself dishonest, rude, discreet, crazy, or untidy? No, in my case, uh, the um, maybe the song crazy, untidy, zero. Mm -hmm. Rude, I think maybe at thirty percent. Okay. In this script, zero. Zero. Yeah. Okay. This script, remember, is discreto. Somebody who's discreto. So if you're able to keep secrets, are you a very good, you're very good at pero y callar. So it's like, that's being discreet. Oh. Uh-huh. Like you're very careful. I think that was the negative. The ne uh -huh. No, discreet is that. Undiscreet is indiscreto. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. But discreet so, in this no. case is like, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. So, no, no, the opposite, all the opposite. The opposite, okay, so it's 100% discreet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Exactly, uh, uh, in the same way, I'm discreet, more than 50% crazy, <laughs> more than, uh, less than 30% good, and less than 0% untidy and dishonest okay very good let's go with the next one so i'm gonna run this one because i think this is was the last row we did round two do you consider yourself cheeky like very chulo that's how it is careful like yeah, mm. you're, you're the type of person that would go in energetic a lot of energy Optimistic and pessimistic. We're going to discuss this one. What do you guys consider cheeky? yourself? Cheeky. 
Chiqui is ah, you're whining and, and making a big fuss about everything. It's like when you complain, like making like berrinche some, mm -hmm. some way. It's the same as, uh, but this is more like, this comes along with crying and whining and screaming and, you know, being the drama. That's cheeky. Caprichoso in that case. Like caprichoso, yeah. Hmm. Mm. I, well, okay. in my case, I'm like 80% energetic and 80% cheerful too. <laughs> okay, and the rest? Not at all. Okay. In my case, I'm optimistic. Okay. Cheerful. Um, I used to be energetic, <laughs> and that's what it, and that's all. I'm, I think that I'm 100% cheerful. I like to cheer other people. And cheeky, energetic, and optimistic, optimistic, 30%. And Pessimistic, I think, 50. I, I see the glass. How do you say? Halfway, halfway uh, full. Half, halfway no, empty. empty. Halfway empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have, by the way, now making a parenthesis, do you happen to have friends like that? That they're always so pessimistic about everything that they haven't yeah. even tried and they're like, no, it's not going to work. No, I'm yeah. not gonna get paid. No, I mean like, don't be so negative. Don't be so pessimistic. You have to be yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> right? I There's am always like that. Oh no. Oh, sorry to hear. Maybe they are complaining for everything. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's that's true. That's when you're cheeky. When you complain, it's more like being cheeky. But when you're yeah. saying that things are going to go the wrong way before tr even trying them, at least. That's being pessimistic. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with our next line. Tom, 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 let's see. Unpleasant. Talkative, you like to talk a lot. Calm, but super passive. Calm and super passive. Passionate. And proud, but proud can be also 50-50 in a good way and in, in a bad way. In a positive way or in a negative way? What do you guys think? How do you consider what, yourself? What is unpleasant? Unpleasant is that uh, you're not a very good company around people. The people really don't like you because of something, because maybe you're always making bad comments or maybe because, um, like we were saying, well, maybe because you're so pessimistic and you have like a lot of negative traits with you or within you that people just don't really like your company. So you become unpleasant or you're rude or you're pessimistic or you're bragging all the time. So that's unpleasant. People don't enjoy that, it. That, that is a difficult one because sometimes you don't know what other people think about you. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you notice, but you don't want to, to admit it. Uh-huh, okay. Being yeah, it can happen. Unpleasant Because I, I think that I am not unpleasant, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And proud in the good way. Um, I am one hundred percent talkative, thirty percent calm, and maybe thirty percent. But passionate, yes, I am with the things I do, work, um, activities with my daughter, things that you're uh, very passionate about. That. In that, in that, yeah. 
Okay, very good. Thank you. Anybody else? I'm also, and I have a, a, a little bit, a little question because I'm, I'm, I'm calm, but I, I also, I also have, I'm passionate. Mm -hmm. I, I am, I, I guess, 50, 50, proud in a good way. Uh, I think that I'm not unpleasant. Okay. And I, I'm not talkative. You're not talkative. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very shy. Ah, okay. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. Let's move to the next row. Humble, humilde. Frank, friendly and obedient. What do you guys think? What is Frank? It's when you open your heart okay. and it's being very sincere. It's a way of saying, it's another way of saying sincere. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What do you think, Ricardo, now that you just participated? Tell me, how do you consider yourself with this um, of adjectives? Okay, um, I think that, that I am very, O obedient, maybe an eighty okay. percent. I, I consider myself a, a friendly person, also a frank person, mm -hmm. and uh, yes, I consider myself uh, humble. Okay, so all are positive for you. That's good. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Yeah. I think that I'm 50, maybe in all, almost in all, because I'm friendly in 50%, but I, I mean friendly because I, it's a little difficult for me make friends so fast. We have to, maybe we have to talk um several times or we have to work in an a team or a, a, a long a, no no i never reject someone uh, i okay. never but i think that i'm 50 percent friendly 50 percent humble um frank maybe in at work is difficult <laughs> Mm -hmm. I totally understand. Yeah. Maybe 50, you know. Now that you mentioned something very important, I have this question for everybody. Why do you think it's very difficult for us? Like when we're very young, when we're teenagers, it's very easy to make friends, right? Like to come up to somebody like, hey, how are you? And you become friends very easily. But what happens when you reach the adulthood? What makes it so difficult not everybody can actually make real friends or or why is it so difficult from from one stage to another if it's the same process what do you guys think why do we stop being so friendly with people i think because of the their experience maybe you have uh deceptions Deceptions. Mm -hmm. Deceptions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deceptions, and you you can trust easily. Okay. And when you're young, 
I don't know. I think maybe you don't have many stereotypes and you're, you're so free in many things, in many ways. But when you grow up, when you are an adult, it's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you, you are, you, you pay attention on what the people are saying, or I don't know. Mm, okay. And versus when you're young, you perhaps you're not analyzing that's not going to work, yes. that you're more going to making your social group, and it's not really important if they, you know, the negative aspects, or you just don't stop and analyze if it's going to have a cons and, and, and I'm sorry, cons and pros, right? Cons and pros? Mm -hmm. okay. Side effects, negative, if it's going to be negative, it's going to be positive, just go for it. And when you reach your adulthood, then you analyze it a little bit more and say, hmm, yeah. I shouldn't trust that much. Yeah, could be. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Humble, frank, friendly, well, obedience? Um, I uh, I'm agree with that because when I was young, <laughs> I was very frank. Uh, the experience, uh, I noticed that it will, it will be dangerous <laughs> to be very frank. So it changed my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. So being very honest sometimes was like, I uh, shouldn't be honest because, or would it be more like, it's not what you say, but it's how you say it, maybe? Mm, yes, maybe. It happens. Yes. And sometimes we get offended. We, we're we not open to feedback. We're not open to people being sincere with us. We're because we just want to hear what we want to hear. So it's, if it's this or this, and we're not open to, no, you know what? That was not a good idea. We should have done it this way. So we're not open to that. We're not open to sincereness, right? Sometimes, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Let's go with our next line of adjectives. Let's see. We have, are you guys honest, fearless? Patient or impatient? Wait, sorry, went too fast. Patient or impatient? What do you guys think? At Seguro Social, super impatient. Sorry, I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not the only one. <laughs> I think everybody goes with me, right? Like super impatient. It the waiting time is so long there. <laughs> yeah. What about fearless, honest, and patient guys? Okay, in my case, I'm more than seventy percent honest and patient. Mm -hmm. I, I I can I can wait sometimes for okay. something to happen. Mm -hmm. um, I'm fifty percent fearless but I'm zero percent impatient. Okay. Fearless, what do you guys think is fearless? Give me an example, just to make sure that brave. you- Brave, like being brave. Okay, yes. Yeah. Mm. Anybody else? Uh, in, my, in my case, um, honest, uh, 100%. Fearless, uh, 80, um, I think impatient. Impatient. Mm -hmm. Impatient, okay. okay. Impatient. What are, you, what are you afraid of? Talking about fearless, because you're not like 100% fearless. So what are you afraid of? What are you scared of? Um, <laughs> um, because I, I don't know, but there is some team that can stop we know that we need to do something but i don't know why uh, maybe for fear or something like that at the end uh, always i do the things but it's a little bit difficult okay i don't know how to explain you just you're then you would say uh, you're you become a risk taker you stop having fear and then you become a risk taker yes exactly 
Mm -hmm. that. Okay. Nice. Okay. In regards to things, are you are you scared of rats? Tremblers? Um, are you scared of bats? Cockroaches? No. Um, actually, animals? No. Geckos? Any animal, no. No? no, the gecko is the gecko is cool. <laughs> it's my friend. <laughs> it's my best friend. <laughs> I have I have too many here. Too many pets yeah. geckos. And I didn't know they eat the mosquitoes. Yes. Yeah. 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 They okay. started coming. They started coming out, and that's the reason why I have noticed the mosquito. My the mosquito level in my house has gone down. <laughs> because there's more geckos yes, eating okay. them. I noticed that geckos actually eat them. Okay. I have to share that I am scared of something that does not exist. And I have been scared since I'm very little, since I'm very little, since I'm sorry, since I was very little. I am scared of giants. So I mm. cannot watch King Kong or I cannot, it was very difficult for me to watch Transformers. Or, you know, anything that has to do with yeah. anacondas, it, some, anything that has to do with, like, big things. Because since, I'm, since I was a little girl, I had this nightmare of a giant coming after me. And, I, and everybody, all, you know, everybody, all the population would start running from their houses. And that's why I was scared of giants. So I, I don't know why. Don't ask me. They don't. And people tell me, but they don't exist. So how are you scared of giants? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know, but they exist. You know, movies, even Disney, like Mickey Mouse had to fight a, a, a giant. I mean, they actually exist. So you actually see them on the media. And I don't know why. So I'm. So and it also happens with people who are very big. I kind of feel scared when I see people that are very very tall. So I kind of feel scared. I don't know why. So I, I'm scared. I have to admit that. Okay, so you cannot watch any movie with a character that is bigger than a man. Anything that it's like giant, but giants, like giants. Disney, <laughs> I think, I'm, I'm going to show you like the most, this type of giants, like this. Oh, okay. For example, okay. for example, for me to call, like, for me to watch, like, I, uh, so this is how it came in my dream. And I was analyzing with one of my classes. Oh, this was a long time ago. And this student told me, teacher, you should look for it on the internet because it's a dream that is manifesting because I dreamt like for six or seven times with this giant, the same dream over and over again. So I looked it up on Google. At that time, it was a long time ago. And it said that next time if I had the same dream, I had to turn around instead of running away from the giant and tell him, you know, I'm not scared. So the analysis was that I was running away from big things that were coming to my life. So after I turned mm -hmm. around and faced a giant that almost killed me with his feet, mm -hmm. <laughs> I stopped having this dream. So, and I stopped feeling kind of fearful for giants about giants. And I don't, they don't exist. It's just that you cannot control your dreams. So in this case, I stopped dreaming about giants. So. And, um, and yeah, so I had to share that I'm scared of giants and things like transformers and all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, going to our list. Next row. Unfriendly? Compassionate and generous. And warm hearted. All four of them. Unfriendly, compassionate, generous, and warm hearted. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a combination of the last three. Okay. Not um, on a hundred percent, but um, I think that um, sixty percent generous and compassionate, one hundred percent. 
and 80% warm hearted. Okay, nice, nice. Anybody else? Maybe I'm uh, unfriendly, sir. Sir, definitely. Mm -hmm. Um, compassionate. Compassionate. Fifty percent. Mm -hmm. Compassionate. Fifty percent. Um, because I think is this come out more with with people that you know when a friend has a necessity of uh, your family. That is less when I don't know the, the person who needs something. Yeah. Generous, I think, is more than compassion. Compassionate. Compassionate. Generous mm -hmm. is more and warm hearted um, 50, same. Okay happens with compassionate and this is maybe what you're trying to relate to is that when you see kids on, um, asking for money on the streets and you're like you should be home you shouldn't mm -hmm. be asking for money and if i have a cookie i don't give them money i give them cookies because they're hungry right they're out there on this un, under the sun or yes. candies because i always carry candies to my classes so i'm always having candies in my car so i give them candies or you know but not money right and then like you say you're generous when with people that are close to you like they don't have for lunch that day particularly don't worry all yeah. it's on on me right so you treat them and yeah so usually you do it with people that you have close to you whether they're not you're not as close as but they're a workers etc people around you that you know okay so that's the difference between generous and compassionate maybe compassion is with people that have no relation with you or that you will see them once and perhaps you'll never see them again and generous is people that are around you mm-hmm Okay. okay. Anybody else? Okay, let me go with the next line. This honest? Disobedient and bossy. Do you consider yourself bossy? Let's go with bossy. And let's mm. let's leave mm. away disobedient and dishonest. Let's not pay attention to disobedient and dishonest because we see we saw it in the past. But bossy, do you consider yourself bossy? Me. Do you consider yourself? Yeah. Bossy? Yeah. In, okay. in my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do your homework, clean the dishes, um, wash yeah. the dishes, do this. Uh, yeah. Do okay. the homework, yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Eduardo, Steph, Bea, Ricardo, Sari? Oh, yes, so I am very, I'm very bad. Bossy. I in your house? Yes. At work? In my house, okay. my, my house, I'm very bossy about the things that, uh, about clean the house and that stuff. Okay. Bea, you were saying you're bossy too, Bea? Yes, teacher. I'm very bossy <laughs> in my house. <laughs> I think everybody, right? We're unconsciously, I think that everybody, we're all bossies. Like, don't Not do that. Woman. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Do this. And we don't ask it. Mm -hmm. Then again, it's not what we say, it's how we say it because we tend to say it. And maybe we're not trying to say it in a rude way. It's just, it just comes out of our heart like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we become bossies. It's not yeah. that we, we forgot to say, please. Yeah. <laughs> My kids tell me in Spanish, hablame con amor, mami. <laughs> like, no. right, so that's something like, okay, because yeah. every day I'm like, okay, have you cleaned your room? Have you fed the dog? Have, like, it's my same list, right? Have you done this? Have you done that? And they're like, and sometimes whenever they don't do it, I, I kind of scream because I'm far away from them. And then my son's like, I'm going to make a number one, mommy. 
like yeah but every day it's the same playlist i should have a playlist right yeah. I, should, I should record it and it, it happens because pretty much the same things every single day okay let's go with the next next list <laughs> Selfish, egoista. Imaginative, you're a Polaroid here. Kodak, inside your mind. Are you placid? And jealous. What is placid? I was gonna look for it right now for you to give you a, I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Okay, mm. I would say it's more related to Tosco, not, not, in, no emotions whatsoever, just being there. I don't know. Let me let me look for. It. I'll look, just look for it because I don't know how to say it in or how to explain it in a different way. Um, I use that. It's better. Give me one minute. <coughs> No, but it's very, in English, placid, it's used when somebody doesn't have any type of emotion or it's still, or it's, if something happens, there's no emotion on his face or he's always, okay. Like there was this show, Dora, I think it was called, or Lola or Dola. This girl, it was a cartoon, very famous, that she didn't show any feelings, any emotions, no expression, nothing at all. So that's what placid would be. Somebody with no emotion, ever. Like this, standing still and... Okay, uh, placid, uh, you mean Daria from MTV. Dalia, yeah, I said Dora, right? That's Dora likes more, uh, something else. Dalia, yeah, I said she had no emotions. Remember that famous series? Dalia, I think it was. That yeah. she was happy, she never smiled, she was sad, she had no emotions. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Only the old school will know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to relate it to something because it's a very, un, it's not very common to use placid but it's that it's no emotions you're happy and you're gonna be i'm happy i'm sad ah okay so it's like super flat so that's the word i can relate it with like super flat so guys do you consider yourself say selfish are you egoistas be honest percent maybe Zero percent <laughs> selfish and zero percent imaginative genius. Imaginative. Yellow. Iman imaginative. Imaginative. Mm -hmm. Imaginative. And yellows and fifty percent plus it is zero. Okay. We have to admit sometimes when we like things a lot we are we tend to be selfish for example you go to the supermarket and you buy chocolates just for you and you take them to your room and they're just for you you don't share with anybody <laughs> or your coffee so you have to admit that you're sometimes selfish yeah. it happens we're selfish. Yeah. like this is for me this is for the kitchen this is for me and you have your own like little alacena and your storage inside mm. like your cookies your favorite cookies your favorite chocolate there and you don't share with anybody so sometimes we are selfish. Nobody has to. And talk if you to share it, selfish. you you took the the <laughs> biggest part. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, guys. So time ran out. Wow, it flew. 
tomorrow we're going to recover that class that we missed that for some reason Zoom didn't okay. uh, record. Um, we're going to be connecting at 8 p.m. So if you can connect, that's fantastic. I'll see you not at 9 tomorrow, but at 8 p.m., okay? Okay. So we can have okay. a witty witty our, our last witty witty of Intermediate 2, and then hopefully I'll see you in Intermediate 3 soon. I don't know when we're starting again. I guess it's just one week of vacation and then we're starting again. Or I don't know if we're starting by Monday. So I don't know right now. They haven't it said anything yet but hopefully we're gonna start soon so you guys just don't stop practicing okay cocketators and cocketeras i'll see you guys tomorrow at eight o'clock here okay 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 see you thank you very much good night tomorrow bye guys good night bye bye